What is up, Apex Reaper here. Welcome to Alan Wake. Hope you guys are having a great day. All I know is it's made by Remedy Studios, one of my favorite game companies out there now. I mean, I loved Quantum Break. You gotta play Alan Wake, and I imagine the guy's name is Alan Wake. But I do know a little bit more full disclosure. That's why it says continue game here for full disclosure reasons, and I was recording this episode, but 60 minutes into it, it crashed. So I was like, ah, scrap it. Go again, because I didn't know when the last checkpoint was or anything like that. I didn't want to miss anything story-wise. So we're going again. New game. Let's go. Normal. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <sighs> Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode one. Nightmare. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stay on my feet. Don't fall over. Stay up. Look up to the light. Reverse. No. Uh-uh. No reverse controls in this house. Okay, we'll go down. Walk. I can do that. Run. I can do that too. Run to the car. Make noise. Hee <laughs> hee. And car. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. And your book spilled out, dude. Does this book actually exist in the real world? I had to go to the oh. lighthouse. I knew you said there was that. something important waiting for me there. You said that already. But yeah, I definitely wouldn't mind reading it. Let's just get what the Okay, seriously? Uh question this dude. I was certain I had just driven yeah. from this direction. But now the road was blocked. Because crazy ghost stuff is going to be happening. We went from time travel to ghost. Well, technically it would have been from like ghost stuff to time travel, but still, nonetheless. Still happened. 35 miles per hour. Right, what? Rain Cove Point. I like that uh, Stephen King quote. Uh, oh, okay, so that's the right way to go. Not going to say nothing? I can't remember if you say something or not. But yeah, I like that quote. Uh, he's going to say something if I go that way. Wait, is it gone? No. Okay, well, I'll tell you about it. Uh, Yeah, I like that quote. Like the whole the, no fun in explaining things. I like that. It's more fun to believe. I mean, are aliens really out there? I don't know, but it's fun to believe. Is Bigfoot really out there? I don't know, but it's fun to say every little noise you hear in the woods is Bigfoot. <laughs> it's just fun. What's that? The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. They say the town of Night Springs, population 2,589. Uh, so right here, next to this tire, was a thermostat of, um, or thermos, sorry, not thermostat, a thermos of coffee. Oh, dude, don't, don't, don't fall in there. Holy crap. And there's like a hundred of them. And it reminds me of Assassin's Creed 2 when you had to go collect all the flowers. And there was a lot. And dude, that's you. 
That is you on that poster. You are missing. Call someone. You found yourself. Collect a reward. Hey, what's this sign? Missing. <gasps> a rack. Oh, that's a kitty. I was going to say, that's a raccoon that's missing. Oh, poor raccoon. But it's a kitty. Oh, look how cute the kitty is. The sudden stop. An Alex Chasey thriller from the best selling author, me. Lantern. Oh. He's got an axe. Oh, hi. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? No. You think you're God? Yes, I mean, you no. But holy God, okay, um. Stuff. Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? You're in this story now, and I'll make Ow. you. Ow! He just hit me upside the head. You're a joke. There would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories, cause I'm gonna kill you. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. Calm down, dude. Maybe you just weren't that interesting of a character. You just had to die. It happens. Ooh, where's his lead? I didn't find this last time I was in. Ooh. Secret secrets. Nope, I'm stuck. Not secrets. What's this? Oh, that's our sign with a raccoon cat. I'm stuck. I'm free. All right, let's go this way. Good jump. You're still missing. Hey, look. It's uh, Bioshock. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Press A to jump. Oh, yeah, we got ups. You missed Ooh. your deadline. That happens. Rather have a good book than a rushed book. Bring it. You wanna go? You That's right. I ain't gonna touch this. <laughs> I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. Oh. Wait, you've been working on? Someone's right reading your stuff before it's done, dude. How oh. does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? I'm gonna run, but I, I'm always afraid I'm gonna miss something every time they tell me to run. I don't want to run. I'm not gonna run. I'm looking for thermoses. Can do it? Nothing over there. Uh, I think it's still behind me. Hiking trail. This way, this oh, way. There's a dude. Run to the dude. Hurry! Come here. Hey, dude. How's it going? Mr. Wink, it's me. Hey, Stuart, remember? No. Quickly, get inside. There's no time to lose. Yeah, it's fine. It's coming inside mm -hmm. now. That's what you said. I know. But I'm also get looking inside. for thermos. I was looking for thermos. Oh, then they call it black and white. Oh no! Stop! No! Oh, damn it! Die! No! 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 <gasps> Me. I was trapped. There was no way out. Oh, there's an eyeball it's looking at me. Uh, hide in here. Die. Die. No, I don't want it. No, Die. you can't make me. Die. No, I don't want it. Die. Not happening. Nope, Die. I refuse. Not happen Ooh, <laughs> Conspiracies of fate. 
Tom the Poet. Oh, Big Daddy's Tom the Poet. Oh, the oh, cabin okay. Was a death trap. I had to get out. Yeah, but there's no door open. Jeez. Yep. Ow! I've been hit. By what? Follow the light. But light means death. I don't want to go to the light. Oh, we are. Oh, oh. Okay, is that our HP bar? Okay, we're dying. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Okay. Go into the safe haven. That is our HP bar, isn't it? Yep, up there on the top left. Stay until completely healed. Ooh. Well done. Thank you. I have something important to tell you. God? It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. No. Follow my light. Okay. Ooh. Let's rewind in time. I entered your dream to teach you. The darkness is dangerous. It's sleeping now. Wait. When it feels you coming, it will wake up. There's no you? time. I can only show you the most important thing. You're standing over me while I'm sleeping? That's, um, creepy, dude. Ooh, what's that shiny? The hitchhiker has been taken over my, by the dark presence. My, 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 you can't my, 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 hurt him my, my, now. Oh. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. <gasps> Here, take the light. Take the light! Mine. Turn your ah. flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Get burn. Is there like a... Still not sure about you that. Did it. I know. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Ooh, Here, take good. the gun. Huh? Gun? Fine. Now you'll die. Tap to reload faster. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. So you're not going to stand over me when I wake up? In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. The heck was that noise? It was like, <laughs> Suck it! Give me back an extra bullet. I didn't shoot those cans last time. I was hoping for an achievement. You made me this way, and now I'm gonna kill you. Come on. Come here, fool. Ah, oh, freaking headshot. You got nothing on me. You guys drop a loot. I don't think so. This is it, witch. Huh? Oh! Break. Break. Okay. Ow! I forgot the button. Okay, I remember the button, but it didn't work because I hit it too late. Reload, 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 reload. I'm not going to insert a battery. It recharges on its own. These batteries are precious. I also need healing light. Is this healing light up here? Oh, healing light. Emergency. Flare gun ammo. Ammo. Flare gun. Keep on hitting X to pick up stuff. Get to the lighthouse. All right. Oh, down here was a the thermos. I remember this. Just so you guys know. There was a thermos right there. There's one other one when you were running, and I can't remember where it was. Hmm. I think it might be up ahead. You did just like this thing's cool. 
get freaking vaporized. Look at that. Flare gun's like a grenade. How cool is that? Oh, wait. Reload this. Be smart. Always have all your weapons reloaded. Stop. Hazard. Oh. Just, just, just fall down. Who? Do you fall down? Oh! Am I really gonna get two for one? Get some! I know there's nothing in that van. Well, don't? I know there's nothing here, so what is that? Oh! Throw my vehicles at us! We're actually running. Last time I wasn't able to run. There we go. This is what I did last time. I think he runs out of breath. I don't see a stamina gauge anywhere, though. Uh, the thermos was... Uh, over there? Or over here? Yeah. The thermos was around here somewhere. And I ran... Yeah, it was over there by that bench. This is where it crashed on the last time. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. The uh, in-game looks better than the cutscenes. Just saying. That girl, though, what's her name? I don't even know her girlfriend's name. She's no Beth from Quantum. Hi. Hey. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. You're just gonna <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. <laughs> You're gonna take a picture of a random dude without asking permission? I mean. Creepy. Wait, wait, wait. Thermos, dang it. I want to go Hi. look for thermoses. Hey, what's up, man? Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Okay, can I get rid of that motion blur? You That's have terrible. a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying that. I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Ooh. Alan Wake. Are we in Maine? I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous no. writer Washington. such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Thanks, dude. You happy? Whatever your name is. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh-uh. Not a friend. Is that my phone? Yeah. What up? Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you You're there drunk. yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? 
Yes. Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. <laughs> we gonna talk to this guy now? Alan, okay. we're what? here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Nope. Hi. Who are you? <laughs> Damn yuppies. Hey, easy. Throw you overboard. No one will ask questions. Alright, I'm here. What am I doing? Go back in. Can I drive? No, I want to drive. I'm driving. Come on, Slowpoke. You get the full. We need to stop at the what? local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Sink. Hi, right, Microsoft. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I promise. What is her name? Say her name. Oh, what up, officer? I'd forgotten there were still hey, places Ski. like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh. I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. It's pooping. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. That's nice. How many books do I, I got? I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Why is there a creeper looking down the hallway? Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Examine. Uh, right. Are you so saying much for clarification. I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Yeah, I'm walking away from you. What up, gentlemen? Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. All right, what do you want? Which one do you want? Wait, can I pick? I want to pick. Use the jukebox. I'm picking. No, you no. Put the Come lime on. In the coconut. Drink them both up. Oh, that Just song? Really? Don't play Don't it. That's copyrighted. Won't murder you Don't do it. He does Sleep. that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Yes. Get whacked. That's my favorite <laughs> tune. Coconut. Get in there. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. <laughs> Look at them go. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's talk while we move. That way we don't get copyrighted, right? Mine. It doesn't tell me. I'm coming back here. Don't hide things from me. What's your name? I'm bad at finding names. Like, they're not coming up on subtitles. Staff only. I'm staff. I'm staff in my world. I'm a writer. I'm my only staff. Oh, that's not true. I got an editor. Ooh, ketchup. Hey, Creeper. What you doing? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. Can I have your lantern? You don't want to die, do you? Well, no. Worse. I want about it, but he didn't listen. Okay. I didn't want to wait. 
I wanted to find stuff. Hello, unrendered door. The key what and you get got? Out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Mm. Mm. It's probably that door, isn't it? Hello, bathroom. Why is why do we have a blue light? I don't know. Is Carl a girl? Carl can be a girl. I don't judge. Hello, housekeeping. Hello. Mr. Stucky? Are you stuck? He. <laughs> Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. Someone just said to but keep I me in the poop. key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And what's your and name? to meet your wife. Well, what's her name? I insist. Don't be creepy. Thanks. Okay. Only people I know is Alan and Carl. We're Alan. Carl got sucked in by the pooper. Cold Only explanation. It's a special place. Very inspiring. What should you do to Carl? What kind of toilet you got in there that eats people? I'm going through this door. I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, she's, she's creepy. Let's, let's peek back at her. I am so happy this could be arranged. We're peeking at you. You're peeking at us. We peek at you. Creepy, creepy. You Stop talking. Run. I can't run. I didn't die, lantern you lady. Lucky this time, young man. Yeah, yeah. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Well, give me that. This really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Wait, no. Hey, there's still lime in the coconut. What's that noise? He fell asleep. <laughs> Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hungry. It swells up like a balloon if I lift it. It's been heavier than its food. Yeah. Splendid, splendid. It's been a long time gone. Good to see you. Hey. You wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. Wait, okay, so we're Tom all of a sudden? Sure. What's your the name? Andersons. They're uh, local musicians. We're okay, waiting for Dr. You. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. I was half paying attention to that. What is... Rosie? It's got an R. Your name is Rosie. I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Ha! Bye, Mr. Blake. Right. Bye. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bright Falls. Always. What are you? What is your name? Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. Look at me in the I eyes when flashlights. you're talking to me. Just in case. Ooh. Hey. hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That's Stucky, Carl. Man, get free of that pooper. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> that was a really cool Can you believe bridge. this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Uh oh, it sounds like he's in writer's block. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. Dang. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but Dude. they'll light your way. Is that our place? We're on a freaking island? Seriously, this is this gonna be copyrighted music? Ooh, that is so cool! I wow. want this. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. What is her name? Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. What is Alice this? had a phobia. Is a fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before Alice. sunset. Caught it. <laughs> Her name is Alice. Who's afraid of the dark? Oh, phobia. 
I mean, a phobia is more than just afraid. Uh, I'm going this way. She'll get there eventually before dark. Wow. That's really cool, though. Oh, man. If I could live there in real life, that'd be so cool. Except for internet would probably suck. Looks like power is non existent. I don't see no lines going to it. Oh, dude. Look at that house over there, though. Oh, that's cool. I don't know, I'm just going up this path. It's the wrong way to go, so I chose to go that way. Can I run now? Nope. Thermos. I was. Oh, we got a focus point, really? The cabin obviously oh, got its name from so the shape cool. of the island. Oh, well, it look at that! Like a giant bird leg. That is awesome. Alice had oh, it's like a raptor claw. Was a caldera. There was a dormant volcano under it. That is such a cool shape to a lake. That is awesome. Best location ever in a video game. So far. Alright, that was worth it. But, this is where we're going to end today's episode. Oh man, we got a lot of luggage to bring down. Oh, that's not cool. Oh man, what a... Like, oh, I kicked over our step. Our little stool. Man, what a cool view. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, hit that thumbs up button and show your support if you're new. And you haven't subscribed for more content, feel free to share this video and comment down below. Woohoo! And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. Ooh, can I jump? Nope. Oh, maybe. Come on. You can do it. Nope, we can't jump off. You all stay positive. Thanks for watching. Afraid of the dark? Are you scared? <laughs> I am you. <laughs>